Hi everybody, Tom Chapman again with an addendum map tool tutorial video. Uh, in the last video, I forgot to mention the almighty spacebar. So here in just a moment, we're going to switch over to uh, my two instances of map tool, and I want you to to show you what you can do with map tool. I mean, with a spacebar while playing with other players online. So here we go. In map tool, when you're hovering over with your cursor. There's an option, a couple of options for spacebar to help guide players. When you push spacebar, whether you're a GM or a player, and hold it down, you get an arrow. So if you're telling the players about something, describing them in the room, and you say, and there's a door here and another door here, because sometimes vision blocking kind of cuts off your doors in a weird way, or you can say, there is a pile of bones in this corner here, or you can say, there's six piles of bones. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one option. Now, if I hold down control and spacebar at the same time, I get the speech bubble. Now, this is kind of a cool option. I haven't used it yet, but if you're in a room where different people are saying things, or for example, let's say these are guards and not skeletons, and this guard yells, shut the door. All right, I'm on it. Well, then you know, your players might know which guard they're going to go after this time. So control spacebar gives you a speech bubble. The last one you get with the spacebar is when you use shift spacebar, and then you get a thought bubble. Now, this might be more useful for players that go, let's say this is the player's PC token, and they're going, I'm thinking about this. It's just an option that's there. It's kind of cool. The GM can use it. The player can use it. So for example, over here, when the GM uses it, it says my GM name, T. Charles Chapman, when I point at this skeleton. Whereas if a player uses it, it'll say player on both screens. So that was just a quick video. Uh, that's one of my favorite tools to use when playing with other people, either in the same room or across the country. Those arrows and speech bubbles are a really useful tool. So thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.